welcome. What's up, Aaron? Good to see you. Um, congratulations on your new deal. What, why did you want to remain in Denver? What was it that uh, you kind of enjoyed last year in your two plus months that made you said, I want to be here? Oh, man, it's a long list. I don't know where to start um, between uh, the coaches, uh, the coaching staff, the culture, the players, um, the role that I have with the team, where I'm at in my career, uh, the trust that uh, Tim and Calvin put in me, uh, and really the, the management as well and ownership. Um, I mean, they trusted me. Um, they want me here and I want to be here. And it's just a great organization. I'm looking forward to putting in the entire year's worth of work. That's yeah, something. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Um, hey, Aaron, just a couple of a couple of things. Well, one, um, it's just how much of a relief is it to have the deal done and not to even have to worry about going into free agency next summer? And then part two, okay, so what's next? I mean, you've been through 25 games plus a playoffs with the Nuggets. What did you learn about now um, having uh, what's going to work for you to mesh with this team um, in your first full season with it? Oh, well, it's definitely nice to uh, have a deal done and really feel like I'm a part of something, you know, be locked in here. Um, and, you know, instead of working towards you know, like a, a monetary uh, goal, we're working at, to a collective team goal. That's a trophy. So that's a beautiful thing, you know, being able to just narrow my focus. Uh, and that's going to help my play. Uh, it's going to help pick up the team. Um, over the last 25 games, you know, I just really need to be myself. You know, I think that's what this team is looking for. What I mean by myself is a tremendous defender, uh, playmaker, uh, ability to score the ball and, and make everybody's job easier. And um, yeah, just just really be myself with, with this team. I mean, that's the reason they uh, want to be back is so I'll be me. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey Aaron, good to see you. Uh, after joining the team mid-season last year at a time when you guys really couldn't even practice, how valuable is it going to be to be able to go through a full training camp and uh, really get more integrated with the whole system? It's big time. It's, it's really big time. I can't even stress it enough, you know, because uh, even uh, last offseason, I was hurt with my hamstring. Um, I, you know, I popped my hamstring fascia in the bubble. So I didn't even get to train that last off season. So I was kind of finding my rhythm throughout the entire season, throughout the, throughout the games. Um, and, you know, it came around, um, I hurt myself again, uh, just from lingering effects of that hamstring. And then was coming off an ankle injury, uh, getting into coming into Denver. So I, I think my best basketball is ahead of me, um, coming in to a, a training camp, healthy uh, and confident and prepared. Uh, it's going to make all the difference in the world, you know, just with chemistry uh, and just playing with these guys, really finding the flow. Christo Saltes, SDNA. Hey, Aaron, good to see you. I would like to ask you, what is the most challenging part for you for the upcoming season and what it means for you to fight for the championship? Um, I think the most challenging part uh, for me this season is just to understand that it's a marathon. You know, we got to pace, our, pace ourselves, uh, be play, play, playing our best basketball uh, come April um, and, and May, really. Uh, and, you know, I, the type of person that wants everything uh, now and to happen quickly and instantly. But I, I got to be a, a believer in the process and a believer in delayed gratification and knowing that. You know, we have a chance to be one of the best, if not the best team in the league. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Hey, Aaron, you mentioned the uh, the ankle a second ago. How much did that impact you um, kind of down the stretch once you got to Denver? And how much better is it feeling now? And I, I guess healthy, how, how much more do you think you can show than, than you were able to last year? Way more. I mean, just my explosion. Um, 
north and south. You know, I think I was doing a little bit more east and west, kind of side to side last year. Uh, I don't think my lift was very good. Like, I couldn't really jump off one. Um, and, and then just, you know, just dragging it, especially with the condensed schedule that we had last year. It just made it that much more difficult to recover and uh, bounce back from games. And I really felt like I was playing on one and a half feet. Um, come down the stretch, uh, and it really just wore out on me towards the end of the end of the season. So, um, feeling healthy, uh, you know, I'm going to take all the necessary steps and precautions to keep my body healthy all season long. Uh, injuries are a part of the game, but I'm going to do everything that I can uh, to stay on the floor and help my team. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Aaron, this team, they, they struggled a little bit in the playoffs last year on the defensive end of the floor. Offense has never really been that much of a concern for this group. But how do you think this team and, and with you specifically here can improve on the defensive end going into this season? Yeah, well, I, think, I think defensively, everyone's going to be able to guard the position this year. You know, I think there was a lot of people um, guarding out of position. Last year, just due to all the injuries, you know, we had um, Monte down. Obviously, Jamal went down, and we'll probably get him back later in the year. Um, PJ was down, who's an incredible defender. Will went, Will went down, who uh, is a really good defender at his position, which is like the shooting guard, you know. Um, so, when everyone matches up with their own position, um, we're, we're smart. We're well coached, uh, we're organized. So uh, defensively, I, I think we're going to be just as good on both ends. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Aaron. Um, <clears throat> what was your offseason focus? What were you emphasizing uh, when you were in the gym? I think you were working out in LA for a while. Yeah, just using my body. Um, you know, I'm a big, strong guy, uh, and I got to play like it. You know, and that, that's really what it is. You know, don't, don't play smaller than I am, play bigger than I am. It's all with eight, 240 pounds of myself. Uh, use my speed and athleticism uh, and quickness and agility, but you really use my body and make these guys feel me. Leonardo Torres, El Comercio, Peru. Hi, Aaron. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Aaron, in your first full season with the Nuggets, do you expect a new role in the team? Uh, no, I think my role is the same. Uh, I just am looking to do it better. Uh, really just a little bit of everything. Uh, be that glue. Uh, defensively anchor. Uh, offensively, uh, make sure that we're clicking and uh, it doesn't get stagnant. Make sure that that everything has a flow to it. So, yeah, I think my role is the same. I'm going to just do it better. All right, we have time for one more. We're going to end with Adam Mares from DNVR. Hey there, Aaron. It's really great to see you. Uh, congrats on the contract, man. Um, quick question for you. So I know you said you'd like, you, you're willing to do just about anything to help the team win, but what things do you like the most about basketball? Is it posting up? handling the ball as a pick and roll player. What are, what are the things on the court you sort of enjoy the most? Yeah, I, I love uh, handling the ball. That's probably one of my favorite things about basketball. It's just, you know, different dribble moves, you know, creating space with different moves, uh, blowing by your defender, uh, turning your defender around, crossing your defender over. That's definitely one of my favorite parts about basketball. Um, and then making plays. You know, that's, that's another – that's one of my favorite parts about uh, basketball. You know, I'm a really unselfish guy. So being able to break down my defender and make a play for somebody else, I really love that. Also, Dunky. <laughs> Come on, guys. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Aaron. All right, peace.